What's up guys, Jimmy or Chaos, and welcome back to another Cross Call of Duty Versus series video, and this is a good one. It's going to be hard to pick a winner. The M4A1 from Modern Warfare 3 versus the M27 from Black Ops 2. And before you say, well, those aren't the same gun, Jimmy, you're right, but you could call these two guns close cousins because the M27 is based on the HK416, which in turn derives from the M4 Carbine series. So... No, they're not the same gun, but they are very, very similar. They both have the rail system, and they are fully customizable with accessories and optics and things like that sort. So they're really close. They're, they're in the same side of the family. Uh, they're on the same family tree, you could definitely say. So let's get started. If you guys would, slap that like button. Let's go for 4,000 likes on this Versus video. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. I have a couple of ideas cooking for you guys but it always helps when you give me feedback and things you want to see. I know this M4A1 and M27 was actually a comment from a subscriber that I decided to use as an idea, so thank you. And remember, if you want to see any other Versus videos, the playlist is in the description as well. So let's get started. Let's start on the left with the M4A1 from Modern Warfare 3. This was my go-to gun in Modern Warfare 3, along with the ACR, obviously. But this one got me my first MOAB in Modern Warfare 3, so it's dear to my heart. Let's go over the stats real quick, and the damage is 42-20 for multiplayer. Damage multipliers, 1.4 to the head, 1.0 to the chest. Weapon class is an assault rifle, 30 rounds, 45 with extended mag, and it's unlocked at level one. You can't get much better than that. It's in the created class, I believe, as soon as you start. Starting ammo is 60 plus 30 in multiplayer. Maximum ammo, is 180 in multiplayer. Reload time is 2.03 seconds loaded, 2.36 seconds empty. Rate of fire is 790 rounds per minute. They deem it low recoil. So there you go, they say the penetration is also medium. It is an automatic. And then on the other hand, we have the M27 from Black Ops 2, which I am also fond of. And the damage is 33-24. The weapon class is assault rifle. Magazine size is 30 rounds, 40 with extended clip. It's unlocked at level 31, so there's a big difference between when it's unlocked and the M4A1. Starting ammo is 30 plus 90 in multiplayer. Max ammo is 240 in multiplayer, which is way better than the M4A1. Reload time is 2.03 seconds, 2.8 seconds, so empty. So they are very, very close in that. 750 rounds per minute right, right up there with the M4A1. Recoil is extremely low. So let's talk about these really quick. M4A1 on the left, solid gun. These are what I like to call workman guns or blue collar guns. These are the ones you just get in and you get work done. They're nothing special. They're not hyped up like all the other guns that you see, the big overpowered guns, but they get the job done. And that's exactly what the M4A1 does in Modern Warfare 3. I love the red dot on this thing. Like I said, it's how I got my first Moab. Very comfortable with this gun. On the right, the M27, same thing. There is hardly any recoil with this gun. It may have a tad less stopping power or dropping power with bullets on targets than, than some of the other assault rifles. But in the end, when there's no recoil, more bullets are going to land on target and it puts it right up there with them. This is tough, guys. This is tough. And you're probably going to, I don't know if you're going to agree or disagree with me, but I'm going to give the slight edge to the M4A1 for Modern Warfare 3. I just, this was my go-to gun. I got a Moab with this gun. I love the M27. I get a good round every time I play with it. I'm just going to give the slight edge. I love them both. Let me know which one you like the best in the comment section. What you want to see next. Drop a like and a comment, guys. Thanks for supporting this Versus series. And I'm out of here.